You'll see the new Groups interface by default when you view Google Groups. Click on the Create Group button to create a new Google Group. Enter a name for the group and an optional group description. You can choose who can search for the group from the Google Groups screen and who can join the group. You can also choose which members of the group can view conversations, who can post in the group, and who can view group members. You can add group members here or create the group and add members later. To allow external contacts to join the group, click on Group Settings. Here you can turn on the option to allow external members. You can now add members by clicking on the People link and the Add Members button. Add Group Members and Group Managers that will have additional permissions. Type a welcome message for Group Members, then click on Add Members. You can click on Conversations to compose a message to all group members. Then click on the button to start a new conversation. After composing the message, click on Post Message to add it to the group and email all members. Anyone in the group can double click on the message in this view to open it. And we'll see options to respond to the message. You can return to the previous group's interface at any time by clicking on the Settings button and choosing Return to Classic Google Groups. Click on OK to confirm. From the old interface, you can return to the new interface at any time by clicking on View New Groups. Thank you for watching. Contact us at Ancorus if you want to know more about G Suite.